In today's video, I wanna go through some of the best tools that you should be learning in cybersecurity. I think it's important to not only know the logic of security, but also get a real good understanding of the real life tools that you'll be using in your day-to-day -day work. This is gonna to pertain to you if you're doing cybersecurity, and this is gonna to pertain to you even if you're doing like network engineering when you get out of school. So I've laid out a few tools here that's really gonna to pertain to you regardless, as long as you are just getting your foot into the door into IT. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is gonna be a specific vendor tool. And be sure to know, I wouldn't be bringing up a specific vendor if they weren't heavily used in the industry from experience having to work with this specific vendor over and over again at multiple companies. So the first skill set that I think you're gonna be using is Microsoft O365. Now, this is something that is usually used in most enterprises. Some companies don't use it as much, but in one way or another, you're going to be using Microsoft O365. Now, what does this entail? So Microsoft O365 is gonna be using things like DLP, which is short for data loss prevention. You know, this is gonna be a tool that's being used to monitor traffic uh, that's leaving an organization, the data that's leaving the organization, categorizing that data, and making sure that certain things are confidential and the data is not in the wrong eyes. The next thing that O365 provides that a lot of different organizations are gonna utilize is some email security. So you're gonna get security on basic things and sometimes more complex things depending on uh, the organizational use for it. But you're talking about things like uh, DMARC and SPF um, and you know safe links, safe attachments, things like this. These are just tools that are preventing malicious links from downloading, malicious attachments, and it's widely used in O365 and it's one of their core components. Another thing you'll be using in O365 is their XDR, which is Microsoft Defender, uh, which has come a really long way. And it'll be good for you guys to get a basic understanding of this tool set. You can go Google online and find easy labs with O365 and start to get a handle of it. Look at more videos than just mine, right? Go through YouTube, start Google searching, you know, channels that are specific to Microsoft. Start picking up those tools, learning them so that you can put them on your resume. And real quick, guys, I wanna to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, the Southern New Hampshire University. And what they have is something special here. Now, are you somebody that really is not happy in the position that they're at right now? Maybe you've been at a company for a few years or you've been in an industry for four years that really just does not suit you well and you're looking for a new start in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity looks intriguing and fun and you wanna get into it. Well, the Southern New Hampshire University has a cybersecurity program that is 100% online. With this program, you're gonna learn about network security, application security, incident response, and so much more. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see every day there is a new breach of major industries that's bringing down companies, losing data, etc. A great start is to get into Southern New Hampshire University into their cybersecurity degree program. SNHU is accredited university. It's a nonprofit university, and it has a radically affordable tuition. Jobs in cybersecurity are expected to grow by 32% by 2032. If you're looking for your start, this is where it is. So if you're interested, click the link down below in the description where you can check out what an average salary for a cybersecurity analyst is and also where you can get started. All right, the next tool set that I think is crucial in cybersecurity and IT in general is going to be learning Linux administration. You want to get familiar with the Linux command line. Now, I know a lot of people, they'll be comment and they'll say, well, you know, Tom, how much Linux administration do I need? Do I need to get my Linux Plus from CompTIA? You can, but is it necessary? Probably not. 
you need to get a basic understanding of Linux. Guys, you could do this through tools like Try Hack Me, um, Hack the Box. These are just basic Linux concepts and basic um, file directory movement um, and basic commands that are easily obtained by just Googling it and researching. You don't need to be a professional in Linux, um, especially if you're just getting into you know network administration or you know cybersecurity specialist entry level. But it is a good thing to have under your belt for sure. Amazon Linux is widely used. Mac is Unix based. Getting an understanding of the command line is really going to boost your skill set level. So get a basic understanding of that for skill number two. Let's move into skill set number three. Now on the opposite side of system administration, the next thing that you're going to want to really pick up is Windows administration. Guys, Windows is used all over the country for different and all over the world for different environments and it's usually the baseline endpoint device now yes there's cases where companies are more linux heavy or mac heavy but they're few and far between most companies are going to primarily hand out windows devices to their users so it's going to be important for you to understand the basic concepts of windows system administration these are things like how to check the event viewer for potentially malicious activity the task manager to show if there's any malicious processes running also how to look into ad how to go into the powershell command line the command line tool and search up different commands to pull up ad information on users this is stuff that you're going to be using daily and you should really get your hands and your feet wet with so that when you go into the interview room that you have some working talking knowledge of windows system administration you're gonna need it this is one of the top skills that i think that you should be bringing into the it field understand windows system administration i plan on doing videos more specifically into windows system administration specifically in the context of security in the cases where you have an endpoint that has a malicious file on it what to do how to mitigate it and move forward so look out for that in the coming videos and the last and maybe the most important skill that you need to begin with in cybersecurity is a solid, solid, solid understanding of network administration, networking, guys. You need to know the basic concept of the playing field. What is the playing field? The network, right? You're not gonna be able to secure any of this without knowing what it's being played on, right? Somebody had told me that the attacker's playing field is the network, right? So if you don't understand that, you don't understand anything, don't shy away from networking concepts, right? Go into some CCNA study guides, um, testing material, uh, any type of courses. You know, you don't have to spend money on this stuff. You can find this stuff readily available. Maybe you wanna do a little bit of Network Plus by CompTIA work to get your feet wet into networking. You need to understand the basic concepts, how computers communicate to one another from the ethernet physical jack all the way up to the application that displays on the screen. This is important for daily troubleshooting. You need to understand what a firewall is. You need to understand what a switch is. You need to understand what a hub is, even though they're not really used that often anymore. An access point, get some experience with a switch command line so that you can administer VLANs through different networks and you can ping this node, ping that node, run a trace route to see where the traffic's flowing to, run ARP commands to see where this IP is being addressed to in the MAC address table. This is vital stuff that you're going to need when you get into security. Again, you need a basic understanding. Don't try to be an Einstein. Nobody is at first. Get a basic understanding of networking. So guys, those are my most important tools in 2024 that I think that you should be getting under your belt before you go into the field or as you're going into the field to get yourself more prepared for an interview and a potential job. So I hope you like this video. A lot more stuff coming, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later.